I'm just making a short video uh, for a reason, a very important reason. I just want to tell people, I'm sorry it's dark in here, but it's nighttime. And um, my snakes, I do cage checks about every three hours during the day. I know you can't do that if you work a full-time job, but the numbers I'm giving out are just to set a goal and to make a, a special note to people that keep snakes. Now, I do cage checks. I set my alarm clock and get up at least two or three times a night to check on my snakes. And I do that for my own satisfaction so I know everything's fine they got water their heat's fine they're content and they're comfortable now what happened tonight was I did a cage check three hours ago and I was in the bathroom hanging up my laundry and I looked over and I saw Tipper belly up of course I freaked out because I thought he was dead because snakes are upside down with their back up their belly up when they die so I ran over and I took the top off of his tank pulled his wooden hide box out and what had happened was he had a he, now his hide box only has one little opening in the front for a doorway but he had forced himself between the glass and the side of that wooden hide box and he went in sideways and he kept pushing and torquing until he twisted his body upside down and he was laying with the whole bottom part of his body belly up and his head was down back against the glass between the hide box and the glass so don't ever assume your snakes are okay if you don't see them out and about they aren't always resting they're very curious animals they can be very mischievous. And had I not noticed Tipper in there when I did, there's a good chance he wouldn't have been alive in the morning because he had his body so badly contorted. I mean, he was twisted like a peppermint stick, the striping on one. And his after I took him out, he wouldn't straighten his back out, so it scared me because I thought maybe he had messed up some bones or something but as you can see he's up prowling on me now but I'm sorry this is a dark video I hadn't planned this video because I just it's three o'clock in the morning to be honest and I it's a good thing I just happen to check my snakes all the time so if you keep snakes don't ever assume that they're safe because you don't see them up moving around and don't ever assume that they're not in a bad situation because you don't see them out and about because had I not noticed him laying there, belly up, he's in the other room, not in the main part of my house. He's in there with two other snakes. So had I not gone in there to hang my clothes up, I wouldn't have noticed him twisted with his body twisted like that. And it, I may have woke up to a dead snake tomorrow morning. And I had to strip everything out, pull the high box out, pull the brick off of it because he likes to flip try to flip the high box and that's really heavy and I don't want him torquing on that with his back but yeah don't ever assume your snakes are okay because you don't see them out and about because really it's a terrible thing to have a snake die especially if you could have prevented it and because you were paying attention that's why I always stress in my videos how important it is to be observant of what's going on with your snakes at all times you know check them once a day check them twice a day but don't just ever assume that they're okay like i said they're very curious mischievous animals they love to explore and get into every little that's how snakes get out so easy if there's a little weak spot anywhere in your enclosure they'll find it trust me because they're very curious animals but i just wanted to say that you know I'm glad I noticed it. I would have been crushed tomorrow if I got up and found him dead. But he was laying. He was a mess. He was in a mess. He got himself all twisted up. And he was jammed between the glass and the wooden side of that hide box. So please, if you keep snakes, don't always assume that they're okay because you don't see them out moving around. But don't harass them. I mean, you know, peeking at them once in a while. If they're in a hide box. Just lift the hide box up and check on them. Be sure they're okay. Because it could have cost this snake its life tonight had I not noticed it. Because his head was stuck between the glass 
and the wooden side of the hide box to a degree that he probably could have suffocated and he would have kept torquing and torquing trying to push himself in because he couldn't back himself out because his body was so twisted the way he turned himself trying to get further back into the corner. So please, if you keep snakes, pay attention to them, observe them, notice where they are, notice what they're doing. Don't assume just because they're not out and about that they're okay. Thank you. I, I'm sorry about the late video at 3 o'clock in the morning, but, you know, if I make a mistake, I'll admit to it. If it'll save your snake in the long run, I'll make the, I'll claim to the mistake and my mistake was I didn't notice that little teeny gap between the glass and that wooden hide box that he guys had forced into. So please pay close attention to your snakes because they can get into the smallest of spaces, trust me. And when they get their head and neck in and they realize their body won't fit, then they're stuck and they can't get back out. You scared the crap out of me tonight, Tipper. And it's odd, I just posted a picture of him today on my Facebook, but yeah, they can scare the crap out of you. You do love them. You bind with them. You get very close to them. They're like your children after you've raised them and fed them and taken care of all their needs. You okay now? You scared the hell out of me. And I don't usually use <coughs> foul language on my videos, but please, for God's sake, pay attention to what your snakes are doing at all times. Like I said, not to a point of harassing them or stressing them out. Don't ever assume, because they will surprise you. They really will. He's okay now. He's giving me hugs and everything, so he's fine. But, yeah, it scared me really bad. And I'm very sensitive and emotional when it comes to my snakes, especially knowing that I'm the one that's responsible for their lives, whether they live or die. You know, and that's a, a burden you really don't want to carry if you really love your animals, is to know that you could have prevented it from happening. I've made mistakes in the past, and I learned from them. Experience is your best teacher. Not other people that keep snakes, not care sheets. Research is good. Bottom line is, the best way to learn is through your mistakes. They're not always good mistakes, so keep that in mind. He's having a ball now. You got a lot of nerve. He's up to play, and I was still shaking from freaking out. Well, I didn't freak out, but it did spook me a bit. The last thing you want to do is wake up and find your snake with his belly up dead. But please, please, please don't assume with these guys. I mean, they're harmless. They're gentle souls, but they're very mischievous and curious. Thank you.